Okay. Uh, what's up, Value Town? How's it going, Oran? See, man, look at that. Look at that Founders badge. Look at that Founders badge. All right. New World. What this is? Uh, do we do hardcore? I mean, that's the only core, right? Hardcore is the only core. Skyla, Skyla, you changed your name color again. Hello. What up, Doc, buddy? Welcome, man. I think it's hilarious that like six months ago they talked about getting rid of the the new chatter ritual, uh, which Doc Buddy just used, and it's still here. And I don't think they're getting rid of it. Hardcore is the only other. Hardcore is the only core. The other core is scrub core. No, there is no core. Don't like how you can't swap between founders and the sub badge. Uh, you should be able to. You should be able to. You should be able to edit your, um, edit the way that your badges are displayed. I'm a casual scrub nub who doesn't play hardcore. Look at C-Man with the quotes. Great new world. Oh, that's pretty. Wait, is that a dragon? Oh god, there's dragons in this? This is 112.2, I think. Look at that RPG emote. Heck yeah, man. So we got chickens. Ooh! Chunk Animator's in this, too. I love Chunk Animator. It's purdy. You are now able to summon a Geonock as a temporary minion. You will need a summoning item to summon it. I forgot Lycanite gave me a rock biter. Am I allowed to use him or do I have to put him away? Yeah, Lycanite gave me a, uh, my own custom minion. Deadfine chose to put it away. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, like, I never, I never really utilize them. Because it feels like I have a dis uh, or an unfair advantage over somebody else, right? Whoa, that just popped up in front of my face. What? All right, maybe, what the? Dude. This terrain gen, though. What the hell is up there? This is pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool. Oh, God. Is that, like, we have some, like, uh, environment type stuff. Yeah, we have uh, thirst and temperature, it looks like, that we have to worry about. Was it was it environment that had all that stuff? I'm trying to remember from Journey to the Core. I wonder if things get set on fire. I don't think that was ever ported over to any of the newer mods, though. Tough as nails. That's what it is. I couldn't remember because we. I did play, um, not Crash Landing. What was the other one? The 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 like spiritual successor. Um, something stranded, forever stranded, and that had tough as nails. Yeah, forever stranded. There we go. Cool beans is okay good no auto jump I feel like I feel claustrophobic hang on uh, video normal where is field of view here we go 90 Back to game. Oh, it's much better. Much better. Okay, so uh, we got a little bit of a fire going on here. No big deal. No big deal. Actually, GUI normal seems awkward now. I got a new badge for my two years of sloth. Life is good. Hey, Spikittles. Oh, look at Spikittles has a founder badge too. Spikittles, thank you very, very much for the 24 months. Welcome back. I appreciate you. 
play below 90, you're some sort of psychopath. Yeah, I felt very claustrophobic. Like, my field of view was like, I had blinders on. Don't like. Okay, yeah, now large doesn't seem so bad with the field of view being... Do I have to... Oh, okay, so this has the mod where you actually have to pick things up. Quake Pro is, yeah, way too much. Way too much. Excuse me, sir? Sheep. Okay. Um, so is there like a quest book or anything? L, you must reach level 5 before choosing a specialization. I forget how to put away my minion. Um, options. Controls. Where's Lycanite controls? Lycanite mobs. Pets. We're going to put that on uh, numpad 6, I guess. Done. Done. Back to game. 6. Familiars. Rock biter. Dismiss. What? Uh, sir? No. Thank you. Okay, rock biter's away now. Well, let's punch some trees, chat. We gotta check out what's inside this freaking castle, too. That's kind of cool. Um, I feel like I can't punch a tree. I can't punch a tree. Um, whoa. I don't know if he's hostile. We're just gonna go check out what's in here, I guess. Or it's gonna kill me. There's some sort of tree mod in here, too, because those trees look very different. If it moves, you die, yeah. Um, are there, are there, there, there's dude, dude skeletons in here, isn't there? We're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go the other way. Yeah, we definitely got some new nudes. Midnight, you might want to calm down with the BSG, dude. I literally just got in the game and I've never played this mod pack before. Ali Wan, good to see ya. Ooh. It's got the ambient sounds mod. Love it. What is that stone? I can't see what that stone is. Okay, there's no, what are you looking at? Probably because it's like realism. I won't know what it is until I pick it up. The hell just happened? Excuse me? I'm cold apparently over here. Oh, a villager. Can I, I can't get in there. Okay, we have to go, oh God, are you serious, bro? Aha. Sirs. Dude. Sweet. Okay, something happened with the terrain gen right there. Like, it was really wonky. Military only? What is that? What are you? A nymph. I don't know if they are... I feel like it's probably neutral. Sir. That, yeah, there's something wonky with the terrain gen right here. With the city. See? And this castle spawned in late around me too. I think it destroyed everything that was here. Because there's a lot of stuff just lying on the ground. I think the way that it gener Look at that. I pick it up, and then blocks spawn. So yeah, I think this thing spawned in- Yeah, and look at the way that it cut into the mountain, too. 
Yeah, so we ended up, what the hell is that up in the sky? Okay, there's lots of things up in the sky. Interesting. And I feel like maybe these are the natural inhabitants of the area, and this thing screwed everything up. Oh, there's a chest in there. Might want to re-log to remove the ghost blocks. I don't think it's necessarily an issue with ghost blocks, though. I think the problem is that this castle spawned in after the world was created. It didn't spawn in with it. I'm going to re-log, though. Like, the, the way that that castle spawned in definitely screwed things up. First aid, press H for the tutorial. Welcome to the first aid mod. This tutorial will guide you through. Wait a minute, okay, so all of my body parts have different health levels? As you may already have noticed, the vanilla health bar is gone. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Been replaced by this system. Every part of your body has its own health, so if you fall from a high place, one of your feet will be damaged. This may cause some debuffs to apply, like slowness uh, for damaged feet, mining fatigue for damaged arms, and so on. These effects may be bypassed by taking morphine or healing. Wounds can be healed by applying bandages or plaster. Right-click the item. If you sleep in a bed, your body will automatically regenerate a little bit. Um, a player can die if a critical organ's health, head, or body drop to zero. In this case, the player would be dead no matter how much health the other organs have. If you want to see your current health and active healers, just press H to open this interface. That's the end of the tutorial. Okay. Interesting. Can you not make... What the... What is that sound? It sounds like a forge. Oh, it's sentinels. Cool. Buy one, bread two dollars. Buy 32 bread, 54. I'm already getting the feeling that I should probably not take or attempt to steal anything from this place. Thirty-two coal for an emerald. Can I like is crafting normal? No, it's not. Skills. Farming. Oh wow. Um okay. Building gathering. How do I even get skill points? Worst thing that happens is you die, it's true. There's a lot of new Lycanites since you last played with the mod. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And Lycanite is Satan. Or, well, close to it. So I'm sure there are plenty of new things that I'm not familiar with that are going to murder my face. Dude, I want to know what this freaking village is like. This is super cool, and I'm curious to know like what mod brings something like this into the game. Like this is really really cool. Spend experience to gain levels and skills. I get that. I just don't know how to get experience right now. Unless I go out and like start murdering chickens. Why is there redstone there? Arrows. There's also like zombies and stuff below here. Babu villager. Hello, sir. 12 leather. There's pigs over there. Coal. 
It's weird seeing all the villagers not have like jobs after playing 114. Um Yellow. It's a wisp. Uh Okay, and it's not attacking me. Glowing. Night vision. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Gained knowledge rank one of the wisp. Check your bestiary. And my game froze. And my game froze. It's like hard locked. Like super hard locked. I kind of get the feeling I should start a new world because I really feel like this village screwed up the entire world. I'm, yeah, I'm, can I even alt F, I can't even alt F4. Close window. Am I going to have to task manager end this? I think I'm going to have to. Oh, nope, there it goes. I'm here for professional gameplay. Oh, that's why it's broken. What up, Miley? How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm just gonna generate a new world. Just everything about that one seems really not right. You know what I mean? Gotta head to work. Take it easy, see man. Don't work too hard, dude. Trying to get through this shift. Well, don't let the it. <clears throat> don't let the clients get to you. All of those structures tend to spawn in weird. Never had issues like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my first experience with it. That's why I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to start a new world. We'll start fresh. And maybe we don't get like a late spawning giant village structure thing, right? Ah, crap. Do I have to do this again? There we go. All right. Create new world. Please, no. Crash, sloth, and pray. Pray we don't crash, chat. Here we go. How many mods, by the way? I don't know. How many moderators do we have? This here almost looks like a solar system. Uh, seriously? Seriously? I know Onion. <laughs> he, he was asking how many mods are in the pack. Water equals death? Well, probably because Jengu's, yeah. I mean, Lycanites is in this. Ooh, Aurasaurus. Oh, you know what, though? This isn't Mad Pack, right? So, like, I'm mostly accustomed to Lycanites in Mad Pack. I wonder if the Aurasaurs are... Oh, I gotta turn him off. Bye, Rockbiter. Yeah, Lycanites is typically, if you look at it funny, it kills you. But I feel like Aurasaurs would not be hostile. Like, I feel like they won't fight back if I try to kill them. So hang on. I looked at the Wisp. 
Hi, sheep. Okay, so I can't do anything with a sheep. Can we? I can't punch trees. What is this? Pretty sure I just heard zombie growling. What the heck is this? Seems like a trap. And we've got more trees that have fallen down. Check your recipes. There's no... I don't have any recipes. I can't make anything. What is this? Acorn. Where are these little stones? Rock. For no tree punching? Okay. Feel like I'm probably gonna need a lot of these. Wolf, please don't murder me. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. World gen order is broken. Yeah, something definitely seems a little bit off about the way that the world generates. Uh, at least for me, anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, still can't do anything yet. Oh, I need a saw. How do I do that? I need iron. Okay. No uses? What? There we go. Ooh, a campfire. Yeah, but I don't have stone. A wood club. Okay, so we can at least make a weapon. Campfire spit. Make paper with two logs, that's weird. All right, let's make a club. Quality, worthless. So now I have a weapon. Oh, you know what? I should check recipes on this. Hey, I can make cobblestone. Okay, cool. Um, cutting knife. Oh, wow. That turns it into a flint shard. Interesting. A flint shard. Let's do this. There we go. Learned how to make cobblestone. Now I can make an actual sword. Do these have any? No. Recommendations for early weapons? Nope. I don't want to know anything. I don't want to know anything unless I ask about it. So these all seem like normal recipes. I feel like I'm going to need the campfire. We probably need, what I need to do is just keep collecting stuff. Actually, you know what? Can I make an ax? How do I make an ax? I can make a, uh, I need a table first. Shoot. I need planks, but I need iron for that. Hmm. Do you want to know how the no punching mod works? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm just going to grab stuff. Is that an Arasaur? It is. It's a Russet Arasaur. Um, we're going to yellow this. See, they don't fight back. He 
he's gonna drop a lot of Aurasaur meat. Four? Okay, I was wrong. What is that? Granite rocks, okay. Oh god, there's a zombie and they walk really funky. And he's on fire. I don't like the way he walks, it makes me uncomfortable. You don't meet the requirements to use this block. You need a farmer, okay. You don't know how you feel about it? Yeah, it makes me super uncomfortable, dude. It makes him, like, the zombies even creepier. What's up, Atomics? Like, it really changes the atmosphere of being around a zombie. I'm just gonna keep making cobblestone with this. I don't know how, okay, so we learned that wisps are not aggro. So there we go, rank one knowledge. So we've got some bestiary stuff going on here. Um, that is more ocean. Oh, hey, nine months. Oh, hey, nine months. Quada, thank you very much for the nine months, man. Welcome back, dude. Hope you're having an awesome slaughter day. Thank you very much for the follow. Can't quite do that, huh? Can I feel like... I just want to see what happens. I can't tell if it's progressing anymore. There's like nothing left of the block. It's just not destroying it. Okay, we're done there. Um, I need liquid. Oh God, no, run away, run away. Why didn't he destroy it? Because it wouldn't go. It wouldn't go. I feel like I should probably stop running. Okay. I don't want to have to jump all the way back up. I need a better way back down to the water. Although, I don't know if that water is even helpful. Am I on it? I'm just on an island, aren't I? Mirakow. Okay, I'm gonna need to make a campfire. I think. I need water. How does one, um, can I like use this water? No. What's up, Ms. Gomez? Can I punch dirt? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I don't think I can punch stone, though.
Oh, I can't even make a campfire because I can't make a crafting table yet. Okay. Um, uses. Can I use dirt for anything special? Dirt bucket, okay. Um, does this get used for anything? Oh, I can turn it into a studded club. What? I can make freaking nunchucks? Okay, cool. <gasps> Stone dagger. A stone spear. That seems pretty cool. Requirement. Oh, that requires tat. Um, interesting. Okay. Throwable. Oh, I can make a boomerang? What? I am totally gonna die. Attack level 69, 429. Yeah, something like that. If we do stone dagger, 3.8 attack damage. That's four attack damage. Press shift to show weapon details. Inflict nausea two, unless the foe is wearing a helmet, okay. What do I have uses on leather? Probably just normal stuff, right? Is that a quiver? Oh, wow. Okay, cool. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Belt pouch, tool belt, bows. What is this? A handle? What is this? A pole. Four poles. Okay. Heavy arrow quiver. Does the dagger do more DPS? I think in total probably, because it probably attacks way faster, right? So it's 2.08 attack speed. This is 1.3. But this also inflicts nausea. So, I don't know. I'm gonna make it anyway. Super fast. I wonder if there's like a reach. Yeah, nausea doesn't do anything to mobs. Like, I said it and I was like, wait a minute, nausea doesn't do anything. Oh. I can get sticks from leaves. Okay. There's gotta be a way to drink water, right? Like, it's not E. What are those? Oh, God. Oh, we're dead. Okay, they're gone. For now. We gotta keep moving. I think I just gotta keep moving. Cow. Oh god, we're dead. So dead. What the hell? Wait a minute. Am I Why am I climbing a tree? Rip World 1. There's so much to learn about this. So you guys said that there's an intro video that I should have watched? Yeah, I have no idea why I was climbing the tree. Does somebody have a link for the intro video? Can we get a permit for Value Town, please? What up, shadows? So, I made a mod pack for Minecraft called RLCraft. And when you 
first load up this mod pack and enter the world of RL Craft, you might think, wow, this is great. What an exciting, beautiful new world with endless opportunities to fulfill my every dreams. But, uh, but, but then you realize when you say dreams, you actually mean your worst fucking nightmares. To say RL Craft is hard is a bit of an understatement. In fact, your first few minutes in RL Craft might go a little something like this. Why are you attacking me? It is the middle of daylight. Where did you even come from? Whoa, there's dragons? Is this Skyrim? <laughs> okay. You died. Skeleton, easy peasy. What? Did he just one-shot me? Oh, yep. I sure do love random spawns. I'm now in a desert, and I already have hyperthermia. Hey, do you guys wow. have a way out of the desert? Oh, what the fuck, man? I just asked for directions. Whoa. It's an Arasaur. What is that? Oh, look, a cave. <laughs> oh, now I can spawn in the middle of nowhere. Gruz. Uh, what even is this biome? Not sure, but now I have hypothermia. What do you mean I can't punch trees to get wood? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I just spawned in the middle of the ocean. Guess I'll drown. No, no. Oh, I So there's in mermaids lava. and sirens. <laughs> really? I spawned in lava? Ooh. Whoa. What the hell is this biome? Ah, oh, okay. So that was a freaking Gyarados, man. Prickly things. There's, I'm sure there's. Glad I know to avoid those prickly things now. Freaking. Ooh, look, a flower. Oh my god, what? Oh god, I spawned right next to a dragon. You know what? Let's go, dragon. You wanna go? 1v1 me, dragon. Come on, dragon. Da, 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 You'd be surprised how much I actually left out. Needless to say, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> What the fuck? That is, unless, of course, you watch this video. Good old That's rocks. Right. Welcome to the official RL Craft Beginner's Guide. All right. Survive, Guide me. You're going to need to listen up, boy. You want to become the Shroud of Minecraft? Guide me, Shavaxi. Listen up, boy. You want to listen up, boy? Then you need to listen up, boy. I'm listening. All right. So, with that out of the way. Let's just jump into it, guys, on three, two, one. Step one, find a shelter. RL Craft ain't here to hold your hand. And the likelihood of you being able to build a shelter before nightfall is about the same likelihood that YouTube will finally send me my 100k play button. Oh! RL Craft has a really strong emphasis on exploration and adventuring. With new biomes and over 200 custom generations, you're encouraged to explore. And finding a shelter shouldn't be too difficult. With those custom generations ranging from random houses to pimped out villages, mine shafts, old ruins. There's tons more too, like full-on custom dungeons, massive statues, oh, wow. even floating castles in the sky. And hobbit holes. But let's start with that first random shitty house you found, okay? Baby steps. Step two, don't punch trees. That was a roguelike. Because you can't. This is RL craft. Real life. What did you expect? Most blocks require their harvest tool now, minus things like dirt and sand. So punching wood will result in a Thanos snap of that block and you left feeling empty. How do I get tools then, you ask? Well, it's possible a shelter you find may have some starting gear for you to use, but ah. if you off chance it does not, then you'll have to do things the hard way. And I mean the really hard way. <laughs> there are now flint tools. Flint, of course, you can get from gravel, which you then take and promptly smash on a hard surface to break it into flint shards. Sticks what? can just be acquired from breaking tree leaves. A stick and a flint shard make a flint knife, which can be used to cut grass, giving you grass fiber, which can be crafted in the grass strain, which can be used to create your first flint axe, which can be used to cut down your first tree. Why is it so fucking complicated, you ask? Because I'm a goddamn sadist, okay? Hopefully you got all that. If not, you're doomed. I like it. I'm down. Step three. These I'm steps down. are less steps and more excuses for me to say some bullshit because I'm bad at tutorial videos. There's a bunch of little things you kind of have to know that don't really fit anywhere else. So, yeah. Random spawning! That's right, until you set a spawn point via a bed or waystone, you'll be randomly spawning in a 10,000 by negative 10,000 radius. Or you'll just be deleting the world when you die like I do. And spawn randomly throughout the world and can be used to set your spawn point as well as traveling between waystones you've unlocked. Think waypoints in Diablo. Every village will have a waystone. Oh, I guess I should also tell you that you can no longer just run over items to pick them up. You have to manually pick them up with right click or by crouching. What, is this not real life? Also, also, when accessing your inventory, okay, you I like Shavaxi. Anything you want to craft with the side menu here. Left click to get the recipe to make that item, or right click to see what that item can be crafted into. I probably should have started with things like this, but yeah, I said it was bad at tutorial videos. Step four, personal hygiene. Biomes and 
you. Health something. I don't know what they're called, a step. Listen up, foo. Your health has been changed around quite a bit. Your health no longer regenerates or gets healed by eating because obviously that shit ain't real. You also have locational hit damage now, so you can get headshot and die in one hit. Deal with it. You only die if your body or head lose all of its hearts. Other effects get applied like slowness if you lose all the hearts on your legs and feet or mining fatigue slash weakness if your arms get borked. There are several ways to heal now that are <clears throat> far more realistic if I do say so myself. You can craft a number of bandage, plaster, and even medkit items now, using various ingredients or simple stuff like wool and string. Remember to look up the recipes. Sleeping will also heal half your hearts. Huh. What? It's realistic. Sorta. Don't judge me! Food basically becomes just a survival necessity. However, certain new foods can provide some a very nice effects. I'll leave that nice. up to you to discover, though. You also nice. have a thirst bar now, because realism! <laughs> craft canteens and different kind of juices that provide better saturation, even rain catchers that filter the water for you. Because if you walk up to a pond and hold crouch and right click with an empty hand, that water is dirty. And you basically get the same kind of hunger effect you would if eating rotten flesh. Now I know how to drink. drink the rain. Remember to keep your food and water up, or else if they get too low, you start getting some adverse effects like your vision going monochrome when low on hunger, or even blurry when you're dehydrated. Is this another fuck you moment? This is probably another fuck you. Oh moment. shit, there's also, battle towers too. To take care of yourself. You even have a temperature gauge because omega oh, fuck you. you. That's right. As if worrying about hunger, thirst, locational damage, exploding flowers and dragons wasn't enough, you also have to worry about temperature. I did say I was a say this, right? So everybody Has Shivaxi made any other mod packs? Are gonna be hot and the mountains are gonna be cold, etc., etc. It's pretty self-explanatory. But in the case you're a big dummy dumb, there is a thermometer you can now craft. There's even full seasons as well that will make days and nights hotter or colder depending on oh, the season. Oh, wow. With a season clock you can also craft as well. Daytime will be warmer than nighttime, and it will even get colder based on altitude depending if you go too deep, giggity, or too high. Yes, it's that realistic. But the point is, setting up camp in a desert in the middle of the summer may not be the greatest idea, nor would trying to grow crops in the winter without a greenhouse at least. There are certainly many ways to control your heat though. Obviously being near fire or lava is going to warm you up and there's campfires you can craft as well. Honestly, this is really cool. Like I'm excited to play this pack. Colder is a bit more difficult requiring slime gelled armor, cooling coils, or even special enchantments. Or just jumping in the water too. Water's, water cools you down pretty good. <laughs> what, you wanna know more? Listen, I pointed you in the right direction. You can figure out the rest for yourself. That's part of the fun, right? Wow, there's still six. Is already way too long anyway. Step five, creature care and feeding guide. Pro tip, dragons are assholes. In fact, everything's kind of an asshole. The general rule of thumb is, if it looks like it can kill you, Fucking striders. it probably will. Most everything is tameable, however, to be used as pets or even mounts. And that goes for dragons, too, though that can be pretty difficult. But we're not here to dive into all the nuances and details. This is just a beginner's guide, after all. So I'll leave it up to you, the player, to discover all of that. However, I will let you know that all the new creatures added to RL Craft are biome-specific, with certain biomes being deadlier than others. Except dragons. Dragons spawn everywhere, and they're assholes. Yep, that's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Step six. The one I probably shouldn't have started with, to be honest. Ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, some sweet loot. Can't use it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you think you would just know how to use a diamond sword? Oh my wa lol. That's right, there are now skills and attributes accessed here from your inventory, which you level up by using your experience levels. So for example, if you want to use that sweet, sweet diamond armor, you need to hit level 16 in defense. Whoosh, you think you just know how to plant potatoes? Bruh, Bruh. that's farming level 4. Come Bruh. On, get real. Hovering your mouse over any item will show if it has skill requirements or not. There's also a secondary skill tree. After you reach level 5, you can press L and select the skill you'd like to gain extra XP from, mining, ah. crafting, or combat. And then you'll be able to access this attribute system with L again, where you can spend additional levels on some cool and helpful abilities, like random crit damage, extra speed when sprinting, double smelting chances with furnaces, and tons more. So, you're now a little more prepared for the horrors that RL Craft has in store for you. But wait, there's more! Bonus steps! Bonus steps! Bonus steps! To be honest, there is so much in RL Craft, so much work I put into this, this is like that if I took the time to explain every little thing, we'd be here all day. 
It ain't nobody got this is like, for that. he and really enjoys playing twice, Skyrim, two, but really enjoys two, playing two, Minecraft, two, so made you ought to know. Minecraft have a lot of, like, can be RPG shit. XP hook, so you don't lose all your XP when dying. You can craft warp scrolls to teleport you to waystones you've discovered, and death scrolls can be crafted to teleport you to your last death location. There are backpacks. Crouch and punch to put them on. It'll take the place of your chest armor slot, giving you some armor as well, and it'll stop your inventory from exploding all over the place when you die. You can learn more about the like and creatures by clicking this button in your inventory once you've discovered them, and they can even be summoned with a summoning staff to be used as minions. There's a disenchanting table now. There are tool belts, complete with weapon wheel. Check your controls. You can only see your coordinates with a compass now. You can craft an atlas that lets you mark places on your map. Okay. String and even grass string can be turned into wool. A very okay. useful. Just three wool will make a sleeping bag, which won't set your spawn point. Good for traveling. Paper can be crafted from birds. Good to get through the night, though. <laughs> Spawners have been completely reworked, dropping a lot of XP when destroyed, and will break automatically if too many mobs spawn from them to prevent <laughs> XP farm. So you're oh, wow, that's really cool. There is an ass load of new potions, enchantments, and tons of new weapons. Toss that crummy sword away and grab yourself a saber, or a pike, or a motherfucking boomerang. There's loads I kind of want a boomerang. Just be sure to look them up. You can even smelt tools and armor now to get some of the raw materials back. There are reforging stations to get better qualities on items. Oh, wow. There are bobble slots where you can equip special rings and trinkets. You can do a wheel. Be sure to crouch right click on a furnace or brewing stand to bind it to yourself for some of the perks. In the I haven't done any dual wielding There's even since other invasion. Like the lost city dimension. High risk, high reward. But I'll leave it up to you to discover how to get there. And last but not least, remember dragons are assholes. I heard wing flapping. Oh my god. <laughs> Congratulations on making it through the beginner's guide. At least now you may have a fighting chance in RLCraft. Links are in the description. I you can download the mod pack and learn more about it. And I even have my own public server running if you'd like to join Like the online. premise All of this pack. On my Discord, to the and Discord. I really like Shivaxi's uh, so editing like style join. The server might on the videos. If you'd like to see like more this videos is... on RLCraft and perhaps learn This more is about cool. It. This is super cool. Okay, now that I have a little bit better understanding of what's actually happening here, let's start a new world. What up, Captain Hook? It's grindy? I'm... T whatever, dude. It's... 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 exploration... encouragement, uh, and... It, it's... it's like a freaking RPG now, right? Like, it's going to be grindy. Any RPG has some level of grind to it. Exponential scale of fire in the pipe. <clears throat> Alright. If Mad Pack 2 and Blood and Bones had a love child, it would be this pack. So you're saying this is more difficult than a combination of those two. See, and I never played Blood and Bones. Blood and Bones was before my my time. With modded, anyway. Create a new world. Okay. We got this. More on the scale of Sev Tech and Fire in the Pipe 2, both of which I've not played. Mostly because I'm not huge on, like, the crafting grind the more you play the easier and more interesting and fascinating it is yeah that's kind of what I got from it I think it's it, it seems pretty cool like I'm excited to actually get like a world started fire in the pipe 2 is a moderate grind with more difficulty in mind true well b both fire in the pipe packs are difficult, but they're key hand packs, right? Like, it's going to be hard. Great! Spawn in a desert. Let's get out of here. And that is a... Okay. So we need to find gravel, apparently? because that's kind of the, the start to everything. So this is gonna be fun. 
Let me just grab some rocks here. So you can't... Probably don't get anything from the grass. Sticks. What? The audio sounds like I've got water in my ears or something. Is it just me or do you guys hear that too? Yes, dragons are assholes. Wait, that much I learned. Today I learned dragons are assholes. Fire in the pipe too is easy. Of course, of course FPS thinks it's easy. Use shift for pick up item. Or I could just right click it, it's fine. It feels like I have cotton or water in my ears or something. Like the sound. It's throwing me off. Great, now I'm hot. I gotta find a cool biome. Let's go. Let's go this way. Let's get away from that, uh... Get away from the Mesa, if I can. Oh, what is this? Is that a... These are bone blocks. I'm inside a giant skeleton, aren't I? That's an Arasaur. All right, let's do this. What is this? Acacia seeds. Oh, interesting. All right, we got a dagger. I got seeds, which I probably can't do anything with. Yep, requires farming. Cool. Good to know. There's chickens. Hey, there's a house. Um, it's in a in Mesa, bro. Oh my god. Jousts. Great. Don't want jousts. Is there anything in here? Probably not. No? Okay, cool. More jousts. Just don't go near the alpha ones. That seems like a really bad flower to touch. We're not gonna touch that. Um, I am on fire now. Oh, we got a bad spawn. Even the water is hot here. Good deal. Need farming to, to harvest those. Okay. Uh, I just fell and hurt myself. Or I'm taking fire damage? I think I'm taking fire damage. Bro, how do you live here? We're dead. I got a bad spawn again. Nope, still hot down here too. And I don't think I can get out. There we go. Go into the water. I was in the water. I gotta find different water that's not inside that freaking mesa. Oh my god, I'm surrounded by desert, dude. This is the worst. What is this? Can't see anything. Oh, my temperature's going down. Cool. We're in heart. Yeah, there's no respawning. No respawning. Hardcore. Cool. I found a doom like dungeon. Or he could, yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
New World. Um, please no desert this time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Why I delete? Because it's done. I'm playing hardcore, dude. Did I forget to set this one to hardcore? I think I forgot to set this one to hardcore. Chat, did I forget to set this one to hardcore? I'm in the middle of an ocean, aren't I? What is happening? Oh, cool. Did I just spawn and die? I, I literally can't do anything. Literally nothing. I did, I, I did say no desert, please. I, I did say no desert. Um, and we got no desert. And the world is lagging. Um, so... the stove on <laughs> can I get a decent spawn please um RNG just save me <sighs> um, you can stop bad mouthing my doc, my my mods. So you can go somewhere else. Okay, I'm not in a desert and I'm not in the ocean. Awesome. Instant village? Yeah, with apparently there's like some uh, some race going on or something. This looks like a finish line over here. Uh, not entirely sure what, what's going on with that, but uh, we're going to pick up some uh, some basics here. Some basics. Give me that. Now we got to get a stick. Air crows. Oh, look at the pretty little butterflies. Stick, please. Oh, I planted the flower. What? Now I can't pick up the stick. Wait, what? Because I was below it? Welcome, Brayburn.
Boom. Stone dagger. Get. All right. Need gravel, apparently. And, okay, so does this... Does it only work when you're thirsty? I guess it only works when you're thirsty. I don't like... Okay, that's that guy. Oh, there's another structure over there, too. Apples. Steak. We'll leave the pumpkin pie. <gasps> Planks! Shh, don't tell this village I'm stealing all of their stuff. I don't know if I like that sound. Okay, that's the, the, the protectors, the Aegis is. Hey, bud. Nine leather. Hello. You are now able to summon the Aegis as a temporary minion. You will need a summoning item to summon it. Okay. Um, library. Books and stuff. And... Looking for chests. They give to here, could you hold it so never? Yet there's dusk after the sands and the faces. Damn. Elizabeth is dark. Elizabeth. She's dark. Mr. Librarian, where'd he go? Sir, here, have, have a book. There you go, that's yours. Oh, waypoint. A waystone. I've never actually used one of these. Cool. That is insane, dude. This is so cool. What up, goat? Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie Guy. Got him. Oh god, there's spiders down there too. Oh no, 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 this has the creepy spider mod in it. Or their legs all move weird and not, I don't like it. Nope, 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 nope. Bruh. Really? All right. This village is freaking OP. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, dude, you can't get into your house, man. You're having some issues here. Let me show you. You gotta do it like that. Did you see? I don't, I don't think he got it. Oh, hey. Hey there. Sugar cane. Oh, there's emerald ore just chilling up top here. Awesome. Um, are you nymph? Regeneration. Interesting. Okay. So nymphs give regeneration. We found. You don't meet the requirements to break this block. You have to have farming to break sugar cane. Interesting. 
So you take, it says you take gravel and then you gotta throw it against hard stone or something? Or maybe you get flint and throw that against the stone? I don't remember. Doo -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. What do with gravel? Is that it? So can I, can we just do this? Can we like... Like that's not gonna work. I think I need. I think it was flint. So if you smash flint to get flint shards, yes. Haha. -ha. There we go. So we got flint. And then we hit it against something hard. You're a hard surface. Oh, I, I it hung up a little bit there. Okay. So now I can make, I think the flint knife is what he said to make. Or I can make a hatchet too. Gotta make string though. So yeah, I think we need the flint knife. And the flint knife allows us to get plant fiber. That makes plant string. Plant string makes wool and fishing and bows and whatever these are what are these hammock cloths okay you only need one flint for infinite flint shards uh i don't want to know how you're doing that flint hatchet that sounds like something that I'm gonna need to actually chop down a tree. Okay, I, th this is yielding way more than I thought it was going to. And it's interesting too, I can't like, oh, I guess I can, you just have to be like right on top of it. Oh, I see why somebody was saying you shift now, because you can just shift and it automatically picks them up. I don't know, I kind of like the, uh, the aesthetic of having to click it. Unless there's like a bunch of stuff like that I can just stand in the middle of and go and then pick it all up. Yeah, fine. Um, so. Make some strings. And then we can, where's the three by? So now we got a hatchet. I'm gonna see if I can cut down a tree now. I feel like it it still doesn't work. I don't know, maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that mod's in it. Okay, it's nighttime. Um, I need to. Do this. 
Oh, I need one more. And I broke my flint thing. Um, please tell me they have a crafting station or a bed in here. Maybe I can just find a bed. Oh, there's a crafting station in here. Sweet. White sleeping bag. Yes. Cool. Um, I don't know if I should do that. I really don't, like, we've got a lot of really good stuff going on in this world right now, and I don't know if I want to risk dying by stealing a crafting table. I'm going to say no. Aegis's are so loud. Oh, we're thirsty, so I can go test the, um, the thing now. A gold nymph. Oh, they make wind chime sounds. That's cool. Can we, let's, oh, I don't need to eat. So this is shift and right click. Yes. But it gives me nastiness. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Making my base. It does have a waypoint. It does have a waypoint, which I don't know. I think, can you only go to a waypoint from another waypoint? Like, it's definitely going to be my starting area. Like, that, 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 that is a thing that's happening. We've got two there. I need to keep picking these up until I can make some other tools. Wisp. There we go. Rank one. Cool. We've got night vision and glowing. Yeah, we're definitely staying near this village for the moment. Congratulations, you now have Calera, yes. Or dysentery, could be dysentery. Oh, hello, butterfly. Flutter by, butterfly. Is how my Oregon Trail people always died. Yes. That or trying to cross rivers. Crossing rivers was always, always a risk. You never knew which way it was going to be the best. Can has more gravel blocks. Dude, why are you, what, 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 that? That Arasaur was climbing the tree. Speaking of which, I was climbing a tree. Bro. Kind of climbing the tree, but I think you can only go so far, right?
This is very interesting. Okay. I'm gonna come down without breaking my legs, hopefully. Uh, safest way is in the- oh look! Gravel. Beautiful. Um... No, please? Thank you. Oh, what up, Vash? What's up, Mr. Vash? How's your weekend, man? How's it going? Uh, it, it's I'm it, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's it's going slowly, but it's going. Oh, Flint. That is a dungeon. We're gonna say no to that. For now. Why you don't drink water? Why you don't guild faster? Why you don't get gooder? Cause I'm I'm badder. I'm t I'm terra bad. He learned. No, that's a totally different streamer. Oh, dude, the BSG is so strong. Like, I have not even been looking at chat, to be completely honest. Like, the BSG is so strong. And then somebody got butt hurt because he was being moderated, so I had to ban him because he started shit talking to moderators. It's like, dude. Okay, hard surface. Calm down, Aegis. Ooh, this guy's golden too. Look at that, it's a russet Aegis. Wow. Do any of all have like non-dirt floors, please? Can I can go in here. Did, there we go. Thank you for the follow. What does BSG stand for? Backseat Gaming. Uh, more Flint shards. We just need more Flint now, so let's do this. What does it say on my cup? Uh, exclamation poop. What up, Marie? Yeah, Bjorn Alf, I did, I, I, I did miss your joke, yes. To be fair, there's a lot in chat that I missed because I legitimately didn't look at it for like five minutes. What up, Grim? Stanji, welcome, dude. Oh, oh, um, and also, so I found out more about the, you know how I've been talking about disabling pre-roll ads? I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Um, because, d please don't crash on me again. I think I'm hard locked again. So I will use this as an opportunity to talk about what I was gonna do with, with uh, pre-roll ads. So here's the deal with pre-roll ads. You have to run X amount of minutes of ads. Like a 30 second ad gets you like 10 minutes of no pre-rolls. A one minute ad gets you like 20 minutes. Three minutes every hour gets you one hour of no pre-rolls. So I think what I would rather do 
It sucks, but I've always been heavy on like no ads. Like subs don't ever see ads because there's no ads for subs here. I would either have to take a break every single hour and run three minutes of ads to get an hour of no pre-rolls or people can just come if you're not subbed, don't have Twitch Turbo, and don't run an ad blogger, you'd get a pre-roll ad, but that's it. So that way you would have three minutes, yes, it, it would be three minutes of ads every hour. When did the no sub ads change? What are you talking about? I've always had, I've always had ads turned off for subs. Subs should never see ads here. Yeah, so it the game hard locked again. Thing with pre-roll ads, they're going to be embedded into the stream, so ad blocker is invalid now. Okay. I mean, whatever. I, my my thought process behind this is if you're coming here, I would rather have you have to engage with the, the pre-roll ad once rather than three minutes of ads every hour in order to disable pre-rolls. Redacted and redacted. <laughs> Does it require a good computer? I don't know, ask somebody who's running on less of a system than I am. Or, or, because mod packs are free, just download it and try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You also be able to actually watch a fucking stream while the ad plays. True. Yeah, because the way that they're supposed to do it now, it's supposed to be like a picture in picture with the ads where like the stream will go up in the top right corner um, and then the ad would play in the main screen. And when the ad is done, it would re-enlarge. Uh, how to download them nowadays. Uh, I just got this off of the, the Twitch desktop app. Happily watch pre-roll ads all day to stop others from needing to watch them. You know what, here, I'm gonna do this. Where's Twitter? I'm gonna put a poll up on Twitter. Um, tweet, poll. Would you rather In my stream, would you rather pre-roll ads or three minutes ads each hour? You disable whole length. Uh, we'll do what is it? It's two twenty right now. We'll do a 20 hours 
a, a 20 hour poll on this. Zero days, 20 hours. Order to keep pre-roll ads off. There we go. Poll is up. get let's see copy link to tweet and then we're gonna do whoop please go vote on this poll about ads on the channel There we go. Uh, which one were we on? R and Jesus save me. R and Jesus save me. Marie, thank you for the tweet. Shadows, thank you for the tweet. Skyla, thank you for the tweet. Much, much appreciated. Back to game. Oh, look, it, it, it loaded up exactly where it stopped. That's two full-on lockups with the pack so far. I don't know if it's something that I'm doing. Have any of you guys that have played this pack gotten full pack locks where you have to actually like force end the application? Oh, Nightbot has, hang on. Now Nightbot's freaking out because I use a freaking command that's built into it, I think. No restarts for you? Yeah, I've had two full-blown lockups. Commands, default, poll, disable. There, poll is now disabled on Nightbot. Shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Freaking goat, dude. Why are you making me choose between Satan's anus and Satan's ball sack? Oh my god. BSG equals best slaughter day game. I like your style, Marie. I like your style. I'm kind of glad that I decided to check this out too. I didn't realize how like RPG heavy this was. So I think it's kind of cool that we're also playing Divinity at the same time. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream.
Cool, we got 14 flint scraps now. Uh, it is nighttime, so we need our bedroll. Um, let's go in. That works. That works. Odd pickup mechanics. What is this pack? What up, Hefe? This is RL craft, dude. RL craft. Hello, boys. GG Aegis. Look at this guy going to town. What is that? A bandage. Requires magic six. Huh. You turned and things popped up from nowhere. What are you talking about? Emotes making a tab fail? It happens, Stodgy. <laughs> it happens, man. This uh, looks pretty deep. Okay, so. I have planks. I can actually make a crafting bench now. Um, what side of town do I want to actually... like water and stuff over here that tower is super cool but I like there's it's dark underneath it and mobs are spawning down there this seems like a nice open side there's a tower over there whatever the hell that is excuse me Arasaur Okay, it's just pressure plates for the doors. I was like, no, it's trapped, I'm gonna die. White wool and raw beef. There's a skeleton head there. What the heck is this? That's not what I wanted to do. What the? What? Sir? Oh, there's a bed in here. There's a couple of beds in here. And some chests. I might use this as my makeshift house for the moment. Yeah, there's chain armor there. But... Like... I don't think I can get it. Yeah, I can't wear it yet. I can't wear it yet. Um, let's do this. We're gonna go... What? Oh! Oh, I see what's happening. Oh my god, you gotta be careful with right clicking. Got it, okay. Um, what skills do you need to wear armor? It tells you, so I need four defense in order to wear the chainmail. So I think what I'm gonna do right now, I don't know if I can break that. I'm gonna take everything though, um, and I'm gonna move. This double chest into here. Beautiful. That works.
cool. And we'll go here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's going to let me do it. Hang on. Okay, cool. So that's there. We'll close this up. Oh, there's an upstairs too. So many beds. So many beds. Okay. So we're gonna leave this like this for the moment. Um, take that. Put that in there. Sort that. Always want that. We got this. Give me this. Give me. We need uh, crafty thingies. Yeah. Are there? Okay, no, no, no tinkers. No tinkers. At least that I'm aware of right now. No tinkers. Guess you're meant to have four kids, maybe. Mod loads the world assets like that? Are you talking about the way that things fly in? Yeah, it's called Chunk Animator. Eight for iron, 16 for diamond. Got it. Congrats on the kids? No. Sloth does not have any kids. Shh. You, you knock it off. Sloth does not have any kids. Um, so do we need, let's see. Give me that, give me that. There's two different campfires. What is the difference here? Beastiary, okay, there's three campfires. Right click with uncooked food to add it to the fire. That takes a matchbox, which is paper and slabs. Do you raise your defense skill points then? Yeah, eventually you use, um, must be level five before you can choose a specialization. So you use experience to put points into skills. I just don't have any experience yet. What's up, Benjamin? Hot key for skills is Y. So how do we make a matchbox? I need paper. Paper, I believe we can make a bunch of paper with, yeah, there we go. So now we've got paper. Oh, wait, doing it backwards, hang on. Matchbox, three paper and then three slabs. Cool, so I made a matchbox and now we can do this. No, that's wrong. That's wrong, thank you for the follow. Oh, it's wood. What are the other campfires then? Check your recipe book. What? the hell? There's like a gigantic tree over there. We're totally going to go check that out. That's super cool. Okay, one thing that I can't have is all of this grass here. <laughs> so, to make best use of that, I think we are going to make some more flint knives. Probably two. That way, I'm actually getting something back from destroying this. Oh, it broke. Hello, Nymph. I'm really scared to accidentally hit one of these Lycanite passive mobs. I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna make some stairs for this right here. Do I have enough cobblestone to do that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Hey. 
that works for me. Yeah, that thing is like floating. Like, what the heck? Okay, put you in there. So we got this now. I'm gonna put the campfire down here, I guess. And it says I can cook uncooked food. Raw beef. Oh, cool. Let it go. Bedtime. Are the, are the bads still out there? Are the big bad boys still out there? Yep. Yep. All right, we need to get to the water because I need I need water. Food. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Water. Do I have to be like right next to it? Oh yeah, you have to be, okay. You have to be right next to it. Do these little pebbles respawn? I feel like they respawn. What up, Cass? Can I, here's what I'm curious about now. Am I gonna be able to, uh, you're a sick bean, I'm sorry to hear that. So if we do pickaxe, stone pickaxe, doesn't require anything. It did not show any required skills. And it doesn't show that it's like disabled by anything else. Why is that guy glowing? Oh, he's glowing because the wisp was there. Got it. Why is there an afrit there? Um, why was there an afrit there? Dude, not cool, man. Not freaking cool. Did I do that backwards? Urgh! I need agility points, okay. Uh, what the heck is this? Ravaging pickaxe mines extremely fast destroys drops. Oh wow, so it's like if you don't care if you're gonna get drops or anything Explosion pickaxe a gamble pickaxe There's a chance to either duplicate it or destroy it Vein mines the broke the block that's broken More advanced than gold <laughs> Bound pickaxe stays in the inventory on death silver pickaxe plus two damage against undead this is, I really like the, the RPG elements that are in this already. Non-arthropods and death worms, okay. Spear, Geonoc spear, Geonoc fist. Vapula crystal level one, level three. I could make a flint pickaxe. I feel like that's probably what I'm supposed to do. I feel like this probably isn't gonna be able to be used. Okay. You never bother with the flint picks? The stone picks do work then? Uh, yeah, this needs to be my alternate way out here. Oh, that's an andesite rock that I picked up.
Um, can I make, like, a flint shovel? Or a stone shovel? There we go. Okay, so regular Minecraft stone tools do work. Good to know. Let's see what we can do for swords. So five attack damage. I think that's better than the little flint dagger that I'm using, right? Regular rocks, regular rocks, more cobblestone. Let's try it and see. Doesn't show any requirements. Stone dagger, graceful. Oh, dig speed and attack speed. Oh, what? Wait a minute, is that random? Do you get random affixes on things that you craft? Sabers. Invar, stone saber, here we go. Damage absorption, chest damage bonus. Five attack damage, Spartan weaponry. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. It takes a handle though. So we can, yeah, we can totally make. There's a handle. I have iron, don't I? I do, but I think it's gonna require me to have things, yes? Saber, dragon bone, tin, steel, iron. Yeah, it requires attack eight, so I can't use it yet. So we do have to make the stone one first. Varied commodities, nope. Steel, tin, where did the stone one go? There it is. Try this. Wow. Yeah, that does some crazy damage. Nice. What up, cool Chris? How's it going, Donald? All right. Our sore meat. I only got one from that guy. Wow. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Um, and I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the shovel and we're gonna fix this up too. Sweet. We got emeralds just sitting here waiting for us now. Uh, I did manage to get some experience, so now we need to start killing some mobs, I guess, huh? For for the XPs, for the XP ness. What what is this? Whoa, what is that that I just got? Raw squid. Food expansion. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've got clay. We just beat the pack. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Just get clay. You win. So there's a bunch of gravel over here, too. Sir.
Getting some ink sacks. Let's kill some more Arsors, I guess, huh? Hey, I got five levels. Uh, let's go with defense because I want to be able to wear stuff, right? Um, one, how do I keep putting more skill points? Two, three. So that's defense four. So we can go get that chain mail now and we can wear the chain mail. Two hour reminder to walk around. Has it been two hours already? What are up times? Make earplugs. It already sounds like I am wearing earplugs half the time. Okay. Um, dump, switch, dump, shovel, good, you, you, good. God, I'm thirsty again. It's nuts. You don't meet the requirements. Wait, what? Did I do it wrong? Oh! So close! So, so close. Alright, yeah, that's fine, because I need more coffee anyway. Break time, guys. Get up, stretch your booties. Stretch your booties? No, stretch your legs. Wiggle your booties, grab a drink, grab a snack. Never stretch the booty. Uh, do what you gotta do. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. <laughs> 